In the days of Abraham, one of the ways people showed their love and thankfulness to God was by giving sacrifices to God. Giving a sacrifice to God was like giving a gift to God. Most of the time, people would give one of their farm animals, like a lamb or a goat. They gave things to God to show Him that they loved Him and that they were willing to obey Him. It was a commandment for them to do this. Abraham was a righteous man, and he obeyed God's commandments. Abraham gave some of his animals to God as a sacrifice when God asked him to. But one year, God tested Abraham, and he asked Abraham for a different sacrifice. God said to Abraham, Take now thine only son Isaac, who you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains. Abraham loved his son very much, and he did not want to give up his son. But the next morning, Abraham gathered up the supplies that they would need, and he took his son Isaac with him, and he started the journey to the land of Moriah. They traveled together for three days. When they got to the land of Moriah, Abraham could see the place where they were supposed to go. Abraham put the wood on Isaac's back and Abraham carried a knife and some fire to go up the mountain. Isaac asked his father, We have the wood and we have the fire, but where is the lamb that we are giving up to God for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God will provide a lamb. When they came to the right place, Abraham built an altar, and he placed the wood on the altar for the fire. Then Abraham laid his only son Isaac on the wood. Abraham loved his son very much, and he did not want to give up his son. But Abraham was willing to obey God. He would even give up his only son if God asked him to. Just then, an angel of the Lord called Abraham by name. The angel told Abraham to stop and that God knew that Abraham was willing to obey. Then Abraham looked around and he saw a lamb stuck in some bushes by his horns. Abraham took the lamb and offered him as an offering to God instead of his son. God has commanded us to love him with all our hearts, and that's how much God loves us. God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son Jesus Christ, so that all who believe in Him would have everlasting life. Abraham was willing to obey God. Abraham was promised that his children and grandchildren will be as many as the stars of the heavens and the sands of the seashore and that all the nations of the world would be blessed by his family. If we love God with all of our hearts, we must also be willing to give up anything in our hearts that keeps us from him. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice.
Did you know we create lesson plans and activity pages to go with our videos every week? They're made by a professional teacher just for kids. Tell your teacher. Tell your mom. They're on our website. LatterdayKids.com